Good evening, folks. Yes, Alien Addict here. I've got my thumb up because maybe psychologically it makes you thumb this video up or thumb it down. I don't know what the thumb down button does, but make sure you thumb it up because when I see those thumbs up, it makes my nipples um, very, very tender. Um, and I like to have tender nipples. Anyway, Tom DeLong and Dr. Stephen Greer, that is what I'm here to talk about. To the Stars Academy or Serious Disclosure Project, which one are you? Maybe you're both, maybe you're not. That's what I wanna know. Comment below, but before you comment, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's what people do. That's what YouTubers do. They say like, share and subscribe before you've even started to get into the content. And that's where, I, where I'm going. Yeah, because I've just bought a new camera and it cost me a lot of money. So I need to make money on Alien Addict because if I don't, my wife is going to delete my channel. Please help me. So on the 12th of March, Tom DeLon put a video out on his channel, the beginning of To The Stars Academy of Arts and Science. And then on the 18th of March, Dr. Stephen Greer puts out a video on his channel called The Official Trailer, Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind Contact. Now, it seems to me like there's almost a battle for disclosure between these two. I could... I, I could be wrong there, you know, they, they might wish each other the best of luck, but I've seen a lot of beef between these two, Greer and Tom, I do not think get along. I think once upon a time they did because uh, I remember seeing Secure Team 10 did an interview with Dr. Greer and Greer said that Tom had stayed at Greer's house, not in his bed, I don't think, um, but yeah, they... I've lost train of thought of just Greer sleeping with Tom DeLong. So Dr. Greer said to Tyler that he believes that Tom DeLong is being used and basically he's just a front man. Here's how slick the intelligence community is. They will recruit someone like him to reach millennials uh, or X generation folks who is being used. I think I think Tom is, I mean, Tom has stayed here at my home. I know him very well. I think he's being used by the intelligence community. A lot of people have said the word jealousy when it comes to Dr. Greer and Tom DeLong. And I hope that's not the case. I hope it's a case of more that he's concerned. But at the same time, I, I have seen Dr. Greer be very pissed off, especially when that little, I don't know if you remember the um, little figure um, that Dr. Greer was said was a possibly of alien origin. Now, the guy that was working with Dr. Greer, uh, Dr. Nolan, took that work to, to the Stars Academy. And that's when it got released that it was just a fetus so and then dr greer did this video i did a video about it and i got a copyright um claim from dr greer when i was actually sticking up for him um i don't think he meant to i think he might have had an auto thing on his channel because i i, I used some footage but anyway I just, i'm not bothered he, he only got a few views anyway but the the point i'm making is it's very, very suspicious when something like that happens and that project that Dr. Greer was working on, or Discovery or whatever, goes to the opposite company and then comes out as absolute bullshit and it's just a fetus with so many different anomalies that are wrong with it. And it is just human, but it's just like a one in a million. It's... It's very strange, and I do I did question that. Um, do I think there's some jealousy on Dr. Greer's side? I don't know. It, it, I know a lot of you are saying that. Um, and a lot of you are saying that Dr. Greer is just after your money. 
So I have said this before in a previous video, but Dr. Greer, when he has been interviewed by Tyler, actually did ask all Tyler's subscribers, or as many that wanted to, go over to seriousdisclosure.com and donate $5 um, for this project that he's working on in the future where he brings free energy to everybody. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, it, is it, it free energy for Dr. Greer? Maybe. We could have a laboratory stood up and probably in a year to two years have a free energy device out for the public that would get us off oil. Now, you would think that some very wealthy people would want to do that, but they don't want to be put in the crosshairs of, of funding it by themselves. But a million people listening to your show, each going to SeriousDisclosure.com and putting in 5 or $10 in donations, that would do it. And so the question becomes, why isn't that happening? So I had a look at Dr. Greer's trailer for Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind and I have to say it looks very entertaining and I click on the donate button that's underneath just to, out of interest, I'm not going to donate, sorry Stephen, um, but he's, he's asking for $700,000 and he's at what, $83,000 uh, and that's over seven months so he's probably going to make that money and I hope he does. But I also hope that it's worth it. I hope this documentary is worth its weight in gold. You know, you can donate anything from five to twenty twenty four ninety nine, and that will get you a newsletter, special update on the progress of the film. You're welcome, Stephen, for me promoting this. And let's have a look. The top one is you can donate seventy five thousand and above. That will get you a private weekend with Dr. Greer. Hopefully not sleeping with Dr. Greer. Um, actually, no, hopefully it is sleeping with Dr. Greer because you'd want your money's worth. Sorry, I couldn't resist. I'm going to be serious now from now on. From now on for the rest of the video, I'm serious, yeah. Private weekend with Dr. Greer for you and up to 10 of your friends. Now, that's pretty good. 10 friends for $75,000, all staying at Dr. Greer's house. Listen, Stephen, I'm going to give you some advice here. I said I'd try and be serious. If it's teenagers and they're all staying in your house, they are going to destroy your home. I've seen it. I've done it when I, back, way back when. When I... Parties. You're asking for trouble there. Anyway, yeah. Travel accommodation not included. Kind of get that because it's not going to be the $75 unless you're a loner and then he's going to get his money's worth out of you. Uh, producer credits plus everything of the previous levels. Now, I'm not going to read all the other levels out because he's giving away everything but his toilet seat. But yeah, exciting stuff uh, for Dr. Greer. I hope he makes it and I hope the actual video, Stephen, is diamond. It's I want it to be... Mwah. Yeah, make sure that it needs to be very close to disclosure for what you're asking. Just saying, no pressure. So Tom DeLong's company to the Stars Academy has investors. I've spoke about it many times. You know, I'm really excited about that company. The, invest the investors have stopped. And if you watched my previous interview with Osvaldo Franco, um, the ufologist, I asked him, I said, why do you think the investment stopped? Do you think that Tom has a bigger investor? And he said, yes. And I concurred. The investment has stopped onto the Stars Academy. Um, and I wonder, I'm wondering if that's because there is a bigger investor now. Um, there's, uh, let's just say that's the rumor. Um, uh, perhaps more than one. And I, I, I think that investor or investors will come out very soon, and it's probably something, somebody quite big. Because so, let me just explain something here to all of you. You, the viewer, yeah, you could not give your job up, or maybe you could, I don't know. Maybe you work for free because you're comfortable, but in a big company or a uh, seriousdisclosure.com to the Stars Academy I think we forget that they do need money to pay the people who are working for them 
Tom DeLong has quite a big team now. It's getting bigger and bigger. So does Dr. Greer. This costs money. And I think we get blindsided by that. We just totally forget that. We think these are all a bunch of frauds. They're just making money. Well, I think if you were going to be a fraud, if you were a fraud steer, then you could kind of swindle it a little bit better than both these companies are doing. And that's what you got to remember because the, both these companies go quiet for a while. It's not, they're not like YouTubers, but they put something out every five minutes. Now, they could do that as well. They could concentrate on the YouTube channels and just keep going and keep going and asking you to buy merchandise and showing you fake pictures of aliens and, you know, going out for lever on it. But they don't because I do believe that both of them are in it for the great good. I just think they want to keep the dream alive and not fall flat on their ass. Um, and that, that costs money. You know, maybe there'll be another company that comes along and says that they're going to get disclosure out there. You know, maybe that it's already in the works. Right now, this very moment in time, my money's on Tom DeLonge and to the Stars Academy of Arts and Science. I wish it was because I could get something off back off that investment. Um, but at the same time, I think Stephen Greer has done some some brilliant stuff for ufology, and it's it's just a shame that both Tom and Dr. Greer can't work together. That's what I can't understand. I will say this. Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind, Stephen, needs to be groundbreaking. You know, it has to have amazing, and I mean amazing footage. That's what we need. I'm hoping that the next lot of videos that comes out, and I've, so, in, in the interview that I did with Osvaldo Franco, he says there's gonna be five new pieces of footage that comes from To The Stars Academy. And this footage is not gonna be from the Gimbal Campbell. The Gimbal Campbell? Gimbal, Gimbal camera. I'm, should I cut that now? Um, but it's gonna be up close and personal. It's gonna be proper video footage that you're gonna see crafts if that comes to light you heard it here first well Osvaldo told me first I've told him to get his channel um but yeah I do think it would be great just to get Dr. Greer and Tom DeLong in a room maybe get them both on Joe back on Joe Rogan but together I love Joe Rogan what a guy Do you think I'll ever go on Joe Rogan? He, he doesn't speak English, but I'm sure he said yes. Um, yeah, to get, get Joe, if you're watching this shit video, um, get Tom DeLong and Greer in the same room. That would be priceless. Can you imagine the shit stirring? He could just, he, oh god, he, he calls a right. In fact, get them both stoned, and <laughs> get them to show you some more UFO footage, and uh, just battle it out with each of us. Who's got the biggest UFO? Who is it for you, Doctor Stephen Greer with Serious Disclosure Project? or Tom DeLong with To The Stars Academy of Arts and Science? I want to know in the comments below, and if you have no preference on either of them because you don't think either of them are any good for UFOlogy, I want to know the reason behind that. Do you think we're going to get disclosure this year? Maybe next year? I don't know. I was watching Goof on Radio the other day. If you've not watched Goof on Radio, check it out with Rich Giordano. Absolutely fantastic show. And the show that I watched, he actually was talking about us getting disclosure. I think he mentioned a lot about To The Stars Academy in that actual video. I don't want you to think, I don't think disclosure is ever going to happen. It's not going to happen for 50 years or more or never. That's, that's how thin the odds are of disclosure happening. 
Well, then why show us all these videos? Why get us acclimated to the idea of all the TV shows, the the books, the people, the conferences? Oh, my. The, you forgot the websites, Twitter. No. Look, I get it. I want this closure to happen. And by golly, you know, going in over a decade and a half now, and we're nowhere, we're nowhere closer. Nowhere closer. In 15 years I've been doing this. We are not close to disclosure. He doesn't think we're going to get it for at least 50 years. Now, I don't think it's going to take 50 years. Maybe 30 to 20 years. But I do think in the next couple of years, we are going to get very close, touching cloth to disclosure almost, and I think it'll keep fluctuating and we'll start seeing some bullshit on the back of it, and then we'll see some of the good stuff, then the bullshit, the good stuff, and the bullshit, it's gonna keep going like that. <laughs> It'd be great to get disclosure in the next couple of years, but you've got to understand what will happen. There will be, there'll be so many people that will not accept it. There will be so many people that it will change their lives completely. Um, I mean, some of us, when we've kind of already accepted the fact that it is round the corner, it's just we don't know if it's ever going to be revealed to us, but we know it's there. I don't know how I'd feel. I mean, in terms of YouTubers that cover alien stories and what have you, I don't know how it would affect YouTube channels. You know, it might just explode UFO channels, or it might just end them because people will be like yeah yeah ufos are here it's, it's just like oh yeah there's a car it wouldn't be the ufos are here it'd be the aliens are here but what the hell do i know right if you're thinking who the hell have i just been watching for the past 15 minutes who is this prick i'm alien addict now please comment below and feel free to call me a prick and call me out but i will leave my wit behind and yeah if you enjoy the content and you are a loyal subscriber, then loyal subscribers, please share my content out on social media. It will grow my channel and give it that thumb up because YouTube recognizes them thumbs up and they can't generally just if you give it that thumb up, then they, they thumb you up the ladder. Um, hit that bell end and yeah. What else? Subscribe. Have I not said subscribe in this video? So sub, 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 subscribe. But just subscribe once because if you do it twice, then it unsubscribes you. Uh, and we don't want that. I'm Alien Addict. Again, uh, good night, God bless. And mind the bugs, don't bite. You will be scared, you little shit. I told you, didn't I? I said tell them that I should go on Joe Rogan you little bastard first of all can I just say something for those of you who say UAP fuck off <laughs> I mean it, you know you gotta change it cause Hillary Clinton changed it or Elizondo changed it maybe a year or two ago it's a UFO don't try to be cute and say unidentified aerial phenomena shut up it, what is aerial it's flying Right? Phenomena. Unknown. UFO. It's an object. Try to give me that UAP shit. Well, it doesn't always necessarily mean it could be like a disc. No shit. It's unidentified. It's flying through the air. And it's an object. What more do you want? Now we're going to change it to UAP. UAP, one of those clappers, you know, they want to get your attention. You don't understand. We need to change this UFO to UAP. 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 UFO.